Hello Water Signs, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here with me. This is going to be a reading for Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. So it is intended for all you lovely Water Signs watching. And what we're going to look at today is what your person is really thinking and feeling. So watch at your own risk. Um, we'll see what the cards can reveal about your person's thoughts and real feelings. Uh, before I begin, I just wanted to mention if you were after a private reading with me, please feel free to reach out. Uh, if you enjoy this reading, feel free to drop a like, um, share or subscribe to the channel and join my lovely little YouTube family. Also, feel free to join the channel for membership and you will get access to member videos and extended readings as well. Um, otherwise, let's get on with it and see what comes up for you, water signs. What is your person thinking and what are they feeling? Okay. So this is thoughts, water signs and feelings. Okay, so let's look at the thoughts. The Empress, Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Fool. Okay, there's someone here who is very attracted to you, um, but their thoughts are not really committed, at least not right now. So they're coming up as the Fool and the Ten of Swords. So there's someone here who's coming up who's recently been hurt or betrayed, maybe, uh, or they've recently left a relationship. Now we have the moon that's come up, which is Cancer energy. So maybe this is more for the Cancers watching. Uh, we also have Aries that's come up here um, as well. So it could be if you're dealing with an Aries, this is how this person is thinking. So what we see here, this, this Empress, okay. So there's someone here who has some growing or some maturing to do or is in the process of growing and maturing. Um, and I feel like they, with the Fool and the Eight of Cups, they're not really sure what they want. This person is sort of sending, they're thinking mixed things. I'm getting a very mixed vibe. One day with the Empress, they feel like, yes, this could work and you could grow together and be amazing together. But then other times it's like something's missing for them with the Eight of Cups. So they're... I'm getting a sense that they're seriously considering whether they want to continue a relationship with you or not. Now, it could be because they've been hurt before. There's someone here who's like very guarded or protective about themselves because someone's hurt them maybe before. Um, they, especially if they've just come out of a connection here with that fool card. It's like they kind of feel foolish. So I'm getting that this person was played. Like maybe they were strung along. Uh, maybe their ex, uh, their person left them for their ex. Like there has been a confusing situation, but I feel like they're trying not to overwhelm themselves too much with these thoughts because they're trying to have the full outlook. The full outlook is not really committed. Uh, it's more about just going with the flow. So they're sort of, they're trying to be in the present and trying not to think too much about the past. Like they're trying to turn their back on the past, which is good, uh, which means like they're trying to move on from anything from the past, sort of anything they're sort of needing to heal or grow from. Maybe that's the growth that's going on here or that needs to happen. You know, they sort of need to be like, okay, well, this water sign isn't my ex or they aren't that person. So you, why should I treat them unfairly? Like they're trying to go in with it with like a, a positivity with the full card. Um, but I feel like they might, they might not be thinking the most maturely. So don't be surprised if at times this person is a little, it seems a little bit lost. It, chances are they genuinely are. Okay. But they're still trying to find their feet here with the full card. So you have to give them that time. The Empress is about children though. So there's someone here who may be wanting children. So, um, they might say it to you. They might feel like they, they have pressure for children. They may have a child and be like nervous maybe about how they might tell you, uh, or something of this nature here as well. In terms of how they're feeling, we've got the Seven of Wands, the Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Lovers card. This person is feeling very deeply connected to you, Water Signs. You do have the Lovers, so this person feels like this is or could be a twin flame or soulmate connection. Now, the Lovers rules Gemini, so this might be, uh, if you're dealing with Gemini, this person might be how... Um, 
um, it might be how they're feeling, uh, maybe more so specifically. But overall, the lovers can represent uh, communication. So they feel like they can be open with you. Now, this is a good sign because it's indicating that they could be completely vulnerable with you. So this is good because in a sense, they feel they can start to open up about anything that's sort of on their mind or in their heart. So that's very powerful. They feel like well, we've got marriage. There's marriage and engagement here. So there's someone here who's feeling like they want this out of life and you've come into their life at a special time. So they might be getting a bit of pressure with the seven of wands. That can be resistance. So I'm wondering if they're feeling a bit of that pressure. Uh, what are signs if you've been laying it on thick and you've been telling this person, I want kids, I want marriage, I want this, I want that. They're responding to it, but in a way they may be receptive. So it's important to be patient with this person because they may be feeling, albeit a very small part, they may be feeling like they have to be defensive about these sorts of things. I think it's more to do with the fact that it's it's a bit of pressure. Now, if you're not pressuring them about these things, I'm wondering if it's like a societal pressure. You know, they may be approaching their mid-20s or their mid-30s or 40s and it's like maybe they've never had children or maybe like they feel like the clock is ticking, maybe obviously more so for the women, but it's like, okay, they feel like there's pressure and their parents could be pressuring them and then it makes them feel pressured. So even if it's not you, it could be people outside of you, even their friends for marriage or, or for children because the lovers can be like conception and they did have the empress, which is, they're obviously, they've got children on their mind. The empress is fertility. So I'm wondering if they're, considering this um you know they could work with children and love children and want a whole soccer team um so it, this could be coming into the connection could be coming into the relationship here um as to uh, as to what this person wants or what they will want ace of wands um this person feels like they need to take action and they want to pursue you. So I'm getting a sense that this person's going to be doing a lot for you, like sweet things. They'll check up on you. They'll buy that perfume you like. Or they'll make a playlist with all your favorite songs. This is showing me they're going to take action towards moving the relationship further. Um, and actions speak louder than words. And if you're seeing, if you're seeing this behavior being exhibited, I think that's a very good sign. Um, of how they really truly feel about you. And I, I think it's very likely that this person could be in love. They may not necessarily know it just yet. Their thoughts are, might be in a different place, but their head, might, uh, their head might be in a different place, but their heart is definitely opening up to you. And they're feeling a twin flame soulmate vibe. Sometimes connections are just inexplicable. Um, you can't explain into words how you feel with this person or the energy that they activate or the vibes that you get um, when you think about them or when you're with them. So I feel like that's what's going on with this person. And then sometimes they're like, oh, wow, what is, what is this I'm feeling? Like aces can indicate new emotions. So you might be stirring up some thoughts and feelings that they never had before, especially feelings. Uh, but watch out for that resistance because you may see them pushing, pushing back a little bit. And that would be like only if they feel pressured or cornered. I will leave it at that. What a fantastic read here, Water Signs. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Lots of love and until next time, bye for now.